What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. Just wanted to show you this beautiful mountain here in Tennessee. I'm down here visiting my family and uh, just figured it would be a good opportunity to swing by and check out this mountain. This uh, mountain's called Roan Mountain and uh, it's a Tennessee State Park. It's 6,000 285 feet and at the top of the mountain there's like a meadow there and they call it the Rhone Highlands and it's just kind of looks like the Scottish Highlands you know if you ever watch the movie Braveheart with Mel Gibson it's like just all grass so we're gonna go up there and check it out and see what it looks like but it's supposed to be really gorgeous so I'm excited to uh, see it and I'm going to take you guys along. So we're about eight miles from Rowan Mountain. And um, we just entered into the state park here. It's a Tennessee state park. And the Appalachian Trail actually goes through Rowan Mountain. So I'm really excited. Can't wait to see what it looks like. It looks amazing on the pictures. So we're heading up this road here that goes up to the Rowan Mountain and we're going uphill continuously and what's really interesting when you go up these mountains you'll see the vegetation changing as you go up in elevation so at the lower elevations you have like your typical Tennessee type forests and trees and then as you go up in elevation you're gonna see more northern hardwoods you know trees that you would see like up where I live in Pennsylvania or or even further north in like Canada once you get up really high you know like over four or five thousand feet you start to see spruces and firs and then eventually it's just grass so I can already see the trees here changing there's more maples and oaks here so it's going to be pretty interesting to see that change as we drive uphill. But it's really nice here and it's not crowded at all. It's not like a ton of tourists or anything insane. It's a good amount of people but it's not over overkill to the point where it's not fun and there's traffic and stuff like that. Almost at the top guys getting there it's really pretty here
can see a lot more northern tree species here now. There's already birch trees. I can see a bunch of birch trees, which normally down at the bottom of the mountain you wouldn't really see in, in Tennessee. There's not too many birch trees in Tennessee in the lowland areas. So the elevation cools down the climate and as a result the vegetation here, the trees and the forests are more like a northern forest like up by me in Pennsylvania. So we're almost at the top here and uh, we just pulled off on this little scenic viewpoint here and I wanted to just show you guys these beautiful mountains. Check that out guys. Very nice mountains here in eastern Tennessee, western North Carolina. Just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that guys. Very rugged terrain. And it's actually like 10 degrees cooler up here than down at the bottom. It was like 73 degrees at the bottom of the mountain. And now it's 63 degrees. And we got some weather here. Check this out, guys. We got this uh, cloud. It's like you can almost touch the cloud because you're so high up here. It's like the cloud is just right above you. It's crazy. Check that out. So... And it's just super quiet here, not too many people. It's a beautiful area here, I'm glad I came. Look at that guys, look at all those mountains just all the way down to the horizon there. It's just incredible. Wow guys, this scenery is just incredible. You would never think places like this exist in the eastern U.S. It feels like I'm somewhere in Montana or somewhere in the Rockies. But look at these clouds over here guys, look at that. It's just absolutely crazy. We're basically driving through the clouds now almost. It's crazy. We must be up pretty high, I'm assuming we're like I don't know, at least 5,000 feet by now. Look at those clouds, guys. We're going to drive through the clouds. Wow. Wow, look at that, guys. We're driving through the clouds. <laughs> That's just incredible. Absolutely crazy here. Wow. It's just insane. I feel like I'm in the Alps or something. You could already see these uh, spruce trees here showing up. These are some pretty stunted spruces. It's because the weather is extreme here. Wow, look at this grove of spruce trees up here. Wow, looks like, looks like you're up in Maine or somewhere in Canada. Check that out. Just incredible. Wow. Up at 5,500 feet here. We're right on the border of North Carolina here. 5,500 feet. Carver's Gap. That's where we're at right now. Carver's Gap. To the left is North Carolina, and then up here is Rowan Mountain. Look at that, guys. We're up at 
You can see the clouds here. Check that out. Wow. It's just incredible. Amazing. Literally driving through a cloud right now. This steam here, this is a cloud. We're driving through a cloud right now. <laughs> it's just crazy. And this forest here is just all stunted, stunted spruces and firs. This is something you would see in like upstate New York or colder areas of New England. These spruces and firs live here because it's so cold. And the uh, growing season is extremely short. So the deciduous trees can't really survive. So the spruces take over and they're stunted. Wow, look at this guys. Literally driving through a cloud right now. <laughs> it's crazy. Amazing. And temperature is 61 degrees right now. So 12 degrees cooler than at the bottom. surprised the road is in such good condition here there's no potholes or anything it's nicely paved for a high mountain road but this is just incredible guys wow look at that Now the temperature's at 60 degrees. So we must be almost at the summit. And this is literally a cloud. We're driving through the clouds right now. Look at that, see the tops of the trees? This is just a cloud here, We're driving through the clouds. Wow. You know, when you think of Tennessee, you don't really think of these types of areas, you know, high mountains you associate with places like Colorado. This is just incredible. What a gem. And it's not crowded or anything. Look at, see there's no cars or any kind of crazy lines or anything. It's just amazing. What a gem. Look at this. be getting close to the summit now because you can see the clouds are really thick and you see these spruces are really stunted they're really short you can see the the wind there wow look at this this is just crazy you can't even see anything <laughs> and this type of uh, fog or clouds whatever you want to call it is very dangerous there's people that get lost and die in situations like this when they go hiking on the Appalachian Trail. It happened once in northern New Hampshire. A, a hiker was up on the top of Mount Washington, which is also like 6,000, I don't know how many feet, something like 6,200 feet. And there was this uh, heavy fog or clouds and he wandered off the trail and he couldn't find his way back to the trail because it, the visibility was so, you know, bad and he ended up dying of hypothermia and when the fog went away and the clouds went away they found his body and he was literally 200 feet from the trail and he didn't even know he was right there but he just froze to death on the top of the mountain because he couldn't find his way back to the to the center there's like a little shack up there on the top of the mountain and he froze to death so Nothing to joke around with, especially in the winter months. Looks like we're at the shack here. Gotta pay our fee. Only three bucks. It's pretty cheap. Wow. In New York, you pay 12 bucks just to go to Jones Beach. In Tennessee, you pay a dollar to see one of the highest mountains in the east. <laughs> 
Look at this cloud just passing over us. It's just crazy. Wow. This is literally clouds, guys, passing over me. Look at this. It's just absolutely crazy. There's no attendant here today, I'm guessing, because it's a Sunday. But check this out. It's just amazing. Got all these little spruce trees here. This reminds me of New Hampshire, northern New Hampshire. I've been up there to the White Mountains before, and it's just really similar. Look at this, guys. Check this out, guys. This is crazy. Wow. Literally. In the clouds. Wow. And coming up here in the winter would probably be pretty treacherous. I wonder if they close the road down or not. Wow. We've got this little bathroom here. As you see, the parking area is completely empty. Literally, no one here, which is nice. Fifty nine degrees right now. Wow, this is just crazy. We got these stunted spruces here. Look at that. Oh, and then they have the rhododendron gardens. I guess it's like a whole forest of rhododendrons or something like that. This is just crazy, guys. Look at this. Wow. Amazing. Oh, there's a deer. <laughs> Look at that little deer over there. There's bears up here, I'm sure. So they have this little parking lot here where you can uh, camp out, I guess. You can literally just park here and, you know, camp out in your car, RV or whatever. And then they have the rhododendron gardens here on the right. Wow, look at that. So I don't know. Where we're, oh, there's someone here from Pennsylvania. <laughs> what a surprise, that's so funny. The only person here besides us, and they happen to be from Pennsylvania. It's crazy. But as you see, guys, this parking lot is just totally empty. Look at this, nobody here. What a gem. This place is amazing. Wow. It's just incredible. Just trying to figure out where to hike. There's a couple different trails. So we're trying to figure out how to get to the highest point, the actual peak of Roan Mountain. A lot of deer here, check this out. We got a bunch of deer. Looks like a mom and her and her little fawn. I'll just wait for her so she can get back with her fawn. Looks healthy though. They probably come out here to eat all these weeds on the side of the road, the grass and everything. Fill up before the winter comes.
So we're at this parking lot here, and we're gonna try to go to Roan High Knob to 6,286 feet. And they have a sign here for bear encounters. But good thing I'm carrying my 44 with bear loads. There's no cell signal here at all, so just something to be aware of. But they have these facilities here for people to use the bathroom. Check this out, guys. This is a little trail here. Goes to the high knob. So we're going to walk this trail now. There's the parking area. Got this little trail here. Wow. Very windy up here. It's in the upper 50s. Wow, very narrow trail. You gotta basically walk like one foot over the other. Looks like we got the Appalachian Trail over here. Look at this, guys. Imagine being here in the winter. Snowstorms are probably extreme. Wow, it's beautiful up here. They call this the Cloudlands because of all the clouds. Basically in the clouds. Look at this. I guess there was a hotel up here at one point. Cloudland Hotel. Wow, pretty interesting. Look at that. It's just crazy. Look at these balsam firs, they look like, or Fraser firs, I'm not sure. They said that there's a lot of Fraser firs here. Maybe these are Fraser firs. Check that out. Pretty gusty here. Look at these winds. It's crazy. Look at this. Crazy. Wow. Trees here are just covered in moss. Check this out. Look at all the moss on these trees. It's just crazy. Look at that. All that moss. This tree's crazy. Look. Just completely covered in moss. Looks insane. Just smells like a Christmas tree farm up here. There's a little fire pit here for the hikers, the Appalachian Trail hikers. 
It's a nice little shelter spot here because you got these mature trees that kind of break the wind and protect you from any kind of precipitation. Wow. There's a lot of black bears here apparently. This forest reminds me of Pennsylvania back home. Some of the areas that I frequent. All the fir trees here. We're on the Appalachian Trail now. The Appalachian Trail. So that's south. It's just beautiful here. So we're at the Cloudland Hotel site here, 6,150 feet. It's a little bit of hiking to get to the actual peak of Roan Mountain. We don't have time today to do that. So we're just going to skip hiking to the actual peak. Because you're not going to really see much as far as viewpoints go because it's just all clouds here. Probably just looks the same as where we are now. So we're just going to skip it. And we're probably going to go to the Highland Grasslands area. So, stay tuned. Wow, so cool. walking on the Roan Highlands. Check this out guys. I think this is the largest area like this in the east or in the southern Appalachians I believe. Yeah I think it's the largest grassland at high elevations in the southern United States. parking area down there. Check that out guys, look at those clouds. Super cool. We're going up there. So it's just a natural high mountain meadow here. Trees don't grow too much because it's too windy and too high up, except these little spruces and firs and rhododendrons. It's just a natural meadow here. is quite strong. Look at that. Look at that gust of wind. So the trail snakes through the woods. We're almost at the top of the mountain here. Rowan Highlands. Crazy wind. It's wind, guys. It's crazy. We're at the top of the mountain here. Just this huge grassy area. Crazy wind. All 
All right, guys, we're almost at the top. I wanted to show you this huge boulder here. Check this out. Massive boulder. Check this out, guys. Look at this grassland. wonder if there's any elk around here. The elk would love this type of area, all this grass. I know there's elk in the Smokies, but I don't know if they're over here. But they would love this area. clouds guys. Wow. Incredible. Oh. Check this out guys. Look at this. Beautiful. Highlands area here. Yes, guys. Check this out. Look at that little tree there on its own. Crazy wind up here. I can't imagine in the winter what the conditions are like here. Probably pretty extreme. Stunted spruces. Look at this, guys. It's just the natural meadow. Unfortunately, the visibility today is not the best. Nothing down there, it's just a cliff basically over there. So we made it to the top, guys. Check this out. A little bit hard to see on the meadows, but you can see a little bit of it today. The wind is horrendous. I could show you guys more. Fortunately, the weather's not cooperating, but you can get the feel of it. If you were to come here on a day with perfect weather, which I'm sure is probably not that often, South Dakota 
blizzard here. With these clouds. It almost looks like a snow squall. Serious wind here. Wow. I feel like I'm Jim Cantori. Wow. You can kind of see the valley down there. The wind is just crazy. You can see a little bit of the valley down there. We're literally in the cloud. Wow. This is some weather up here. trip to Roan Mountain. I'm sure I'll be back maybe in the fall when I come back here to visit my family for the holidays. Back up here. It'll probably be fun to put my snowshoes here. But I made a mistake and did legs two days ago. Hard set of squats. Now it's just super painful walking up and down this mountain. Every step just kills. <laughs> so you guys out there who actually know what I'm talking about. Look at this guys, it's so beautiful here. Check this out guys, look at this view. There's the parking area down there. Look at all those spruces. It's just beautiful. 
at all that. That's crazy. Wow. So this is the parking area to the Rhone Highlands right here at this junction.